Speaking at the occasion in Winduk, Salt Essential IT's Managing Director Sonia Kutsa stated that research shows that of the 50 largest tech companies by market capitalization worldwide, only 4% employ females as chief executive officers and managing directors. When, search, when searching for women in tech, less than 0.5% in the initial search was Africa-based. With a more refined search for women in tech in Africa from young to old, we were still at 0.5%. Tunga recognizes 50 outstanding women in tech in Africa, six from South Africa, and one from Botswana for Sadek. The reality is that if we don't claim our seat at the table, nobody is going to invite us. It is our job to inspire, to drive, to focus, to be a living example. And here's the funny thing, on a recent talk with the Youth Mentors of Kenya, you don't need to be a technologist to be a woman in tech. You can be in marketing and use smart tech. You can show others how to do marketing with smart tech. Finances, legal, you can think of all the professions. Tech will always play a role. But if we don't hold our hands and we don't stand together, we will still be 0.5% in five years time. At the same occasion, Lefa Namibia's marketing manager, Ialo Marongo, spoke about empowering women drivers in the tech ecosystem using Lefa Transportation Services as a case study. She noted that the local transportation service launched its new incubation program, which focuses on empowering women through mobility by transitioning its fleet vehicles into electrical vehicles that will be driven by women. So the program overview is leveraging technology to empower women. So we'll be training 15 women as drivers in city tour guides. Uh, we've uh, made a call for application. And if there's anyone in the room that would like to um, register as a driver, either on a part-time basis, we can just, you know, have a discussion after. Uh, so these um, drivers, like I've mentioned, they'll be trained as tour guides and they'll also receive um, mentorship training and business skills training from One Economy Foundation. And we are going to integrate technology in training them in using LEFA operations. So utilizing the LEFA driver app. So the drivers, um, like I said, we have an app. Uh, that you can be able to request a ride from. Uh, the app also has real-time navigation and customer management. And some of the questions that we've got is how are we going to ensure the safety of the women, uh, especially when they're driving late at night. And we have, or we are in talks with uh, G4S to integrate uh, uh, a panic button in the cars, in these electrical vehicles. Empowerment specialist at Salt Essential IT, Vanessa Baresh, also discussed artificial intelligence as a catalyst to leapfrog the gender gap in technology, noting that AI may help women acquire new skills and knowledge through upskilling and reskilling.